Yo pondría la música triñar? de fondo y eso de escondo el logo. Esto lo pongo aquí. ¡Hala! ¡Robado! Great to hear. Uh, and I know that we have a lot to talk about today. The Aclarado first thing eso. I did want to mention, though, uh, is actually um, Midwinter Blight, which is an event uh, that is actually going to be coming up here on December 12th. El 12 de diciembre uh, viene el evento de Navidad. Holiday event. It's actually our first holiday event. It's Nuestro funny, primer evento de Navidad. About, you know, hey, what about Halloween? We're, and, you know, we kind of remind people that, like, Season of Blood is kind of halloween <laughs> it's, it's ¿Qué pasó con Halloween? ¿Por qué no de yeah, Halloween o tal? It's got skeletons. I mean, it's got all the same stuff you expect to get from a Halloween. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, Midwinter Blight coming December 12th uh, is our holiday event that we uh, talked about and we announced at BlizzCon. Yeah. But we wanted to talk a little bit minutos. more about that today. Uh, Joe... Um, Can you give us a little bit more info, Joe P? Yeah, sure. So, info? yeah, Midwinter Blight, as I know that people like, got a chance to see the, some of the video stuff before, and like we talked about it at BlizzCon, but Midwinter Blight is obviously our first like true and proper you know holiday event where we're going to be sanctuary in Diablo 4. Uh, in it, you know, we're going to be visiting the Fractured Peaks again, where a like a horrible storm has like descended upon the people. Uh, vale. the, yeah, Evento de Navidad. Uh, the, 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 the upon the Hay una tormenta the terrible en Fractured Peaks. Yeah, we're Encima be es to a uh, a new character uh, named Gillian. Hay un like, nuevo uh, personaje, Gillian. You know, Gillian is here trying to like rouse the spirits of the people of Kiovashad, mm. uh, trying to help them work together to push back against, you know, a new threat that's emerging from like the hills and mountains. Es un animador de la gente de Kiovashad. Uh, uh, you know, from the glacier and down from the, the you know the mountainous peaks nearby. So, uh, Joe, can I trust this guy though? Because I don't have a good track record with musicians. <laughs> I, I think that anyone that plays music in the Fractured Peaks is generally trustworthy. Okay. So I think that you're going to be he's looking a little sketch there. I don't know. I trusted, the, I trusted all those folks <laughs> I in the back. I, I don't think it's that's fair to those of us who, who boast to have nice facial hair. I think that <laughs> Gillian is a perfectly trustworthy person. So with that in mind, uh, so Gillian's there trying to rouse people together. And they're going to be sending the heroes of Sanctuary off into the Fractured Peaks to fight against this new threat, the Red Cloak Horror and his minions. You know, we're out there kind of like causing great mayhem. They're kind of erecting these uh, these disgusting uh, snow sculptures uh, out of uh, discarded parts uh, out, out throughout the environment. Yeah, here is a, a group of the Red Cloak Terror's min uh, Horror's minions just kind of like running around. Uh, they're very, very dangerous creatures. They're, Dice que hay como una especie de pilares como de muñecos de nieve hechos con partes like, humanas they're, they're enjoying y que hay minions con una extraña caracterización dando vueltas spirit, alrededor. Which is just basically causing a lot of mayhem and destruction and pain for the people. So you get a chance to feel a little bit of that as you're going through the... Uh, y esta es Santa Claus. Are, Our main boy, the uh, the Red Cloak Horror himself. Uh, this is going to be your opportunity to go and fight this uh, this uh, boss. Will occasionally pop in, uh, into the, the the content. Uh, you'll get good rewards from him as you're kind of progressing through the event. And he will take all of these these like trophies and things you're collecting from all of his minions. Dice que estos eventos, estos árboles de Navidad, te pueden dar trofeos y skins y que puedes spawnear el boss really cool y darte awesome. algunos yeah, cosméticos muy chulos. Uh, a few, like, kind of exclusive que vamos a tener como una questline que nos va a llevar por estos eventos que van a spawnear por todo Fracture Pix y estos son los cosméticos que vamos a poder ganar. Cinco escudos y una o dos armas por personaje. Hola, Pablo. Hola, to grab a, a little bit of extra uh, experience. And then there is also, uh, for this event, a, a, a new op like offensive aspect. Yeah, there's or a new seasonal aspect mm -hmm. you get to play with. Yeah. kind of like dovetails with some of the new shrines and things that we have uh, throughout the environment. So there's a lot of fun stuff for players to engage with throughout the season. And again, all, like again, a lot of really cool cosmetics to collect. Yeah, so yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff coming in Midwinter Blade. And these, um, the things, some folks might be wondering if the Things like the elixirs and the aspects persist after Midwinter Blight ends, and they do, right? Yep. They do, yeah. They, they will persist after the event ends, but you'll have to, you'll only be able to collect them now during this period. Of time. Exactly. Sí. So, like, Desde el 12 de diciembre hasta finales de diciembre, durante tres semanas va a estar el evento activo. Podéis farmear elixires y un montón de cosas, y todo lo que farméis que sea del evento se va a mantener después. Con lo cual, el mes después del evento, para matar o cirar lo que sea, todo lo que farméis en este evento os lo quedáis. Uh, but the next other big thing... Yeah, that's like two weeks away. Exactly. What's happening next week?